Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of redesigning the Audacity logo design from scratch. At the end, I will show you the full Behance project. So keep watching to the end of the video, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share the video. Have a nice watching. Audacity is a free, easy to use, multi track audio editor and recorder for Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, and other operating systems. It is well known in the audio editing industry. Maybe some of you don't know it, but I use it all the time. It is an essential tool for my video production process. Why I decided to redesign the Audacity logo. Audacity has been using the current logo since many years ago and when comparing it with their competitors' logos, it looks too old and outdated. They all has redesigned their logos to a modern and cleaner designs. When we take a look at the Audacity website, we can see how old it looks, and how they forced the logo to fit out there. They put it on a white background, so it can fit on the dark blue banner. In small sizes the waveform in the logo looks like an orange point. And in this new Windows 11 Lite theme, the logo looks really outdated between all these new icons. Moving to the dark theme, the dark blue headphones in the logo completely fades out. And the waveform looks like a dragon ball. So we have to put that in mind when redesigning the logo. The current logo uses Seneca Semi Bold for the logotype, a very dark blue for the headphones and a dark orange and some faded yellow for the sound waveform. So, long story short, the good thing about the current Audacity logo, is that it is recognizable, and that is because it was in use for so many years. And the bad things is that it is outdated, the colors are odd, the font is too old, and the logo mark doesn't work in small sizes. So our mission is to keep the overall concept of the logo, and improving the font and color. We should keep the balance between making the mark simpler and making it stands out, without getting too generic. So, moving to the sketching phase. I start out by simplifying the wave and the headphones shapes. I try out many different forms of simple sound waves. I made a more minimal headphones with a simple sound wave in it. And I keep exploring this combination and making more different logo design concept sketches. Now, I start vectorizing all the sketches concept by concept. In this specific one, I start by making a vertical rectangle. Then I duplicate it. And then with the direct selection tool I select these two anchor points, and I drag the widgets to make it rounded. Then I do the same thing for these two points. Then I make another rectangle in the middle. Then I hold Alt and duplicate it to the right like this. I shrink it down. Then I duplicate it to the left. I drag the corner widgets to make it rounded. Now, with the pen tool, I connect these two shapes.
I swap the fill and stroke. Then I select these two points to make them rounded. Then I increase the stroke size. Then I continue to vectorize the rest of the sketches. This sound waveform is a little bit tricky to make, so I will walk you through the process of vectorizing it step by step. With the pen tool, I create a straight line like this. Then I go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and click on Zigzag. I click on Preview, then I change the points to Smooth. I change the ridges to 3. Then I increase the size to 42. Now, I go to Object and I click on Expand Appearance. I return to Object, Transform, and I click on Reflect. I choose the horizontal axis, and I press OK. With the Direct Selection tool, I select this point. And with the arrow key I drag it up like this. Then I select this one, and I drag it down. Then I move it to the left a little bit. And I move this point also. I drag this handle a little bit to the left. Then this one to the right. I swap the fill and stroke. Then I select this point, and I drag it up. Now, I hold out and drag the whole shape down to duplicate it. Then I go to Object, Transform, and I click on Reflect, then I press OK. I align it. Then I select the two shapes, and from the Pathfinder, I click on Unite. Now, I continue to vectorize the rest of the logos. Now, I finished the vectorizing process, and this is all the logo design concepts that I have refined, but still on black and white. As I told you before, the existing Audacity logo colors work well on white. But when I move them, on a dark background, 
the color blue almost fade out, and becomes hard to see. So I will search for a color palette that works on both black and white. I go to Adobe Color website. Then I go to Explore. Then I write the two keywords that I search for, blue and orange. Then you can see how many color palettes the site will suggest. You can choose the one that fits your project the best. And for the typography, like I used to do, I go to myfonts.com, then I choose the sans serif category. And then I write the logo name here, Audacity. Then you can see how the site will display your logo name with the different fonts, and will showcase the font in use, so you can choose the right one for your project. So, these are the blue and orange and the font that I have chosen. The font is Montbold, I liked it because it's so clean and solid. You can see how the colors still work well even when I drag the mono black background. And after applying the colors to the vectorized concepts, this is what I've got. And because I've said first when I mentioned the mission of the redesign, that we have to keep the overall concept of the old logo. I rejected the totally different ones and I kept those. This one looks clean and simple, but the waveform is so thin. This one is good also, but the sound wave is a little bit complicated. I don't like this one, so I decided to go with this concept. So, this is the final design, I decided to go with this one because it is more simple and abstract than the others, easy to remember, and works well in any size. If you liked the video, then check out the full Behance project and give it a like, you will find the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and see you in another video.